know the world is going to have to do a lot better at maximising the materials already in use if we're to create a sustainable future. Hello there. This week on Business Planet, we're exploring what more can be done with the stuff we throw away. We've come to Spain to look at a remarkable project that's quite literally taking the waste from paper and using it to build a superhighway. At first glance, this new stretch of motorway near Valencia looks like any other, but hidden secrets lie beneath its surface. Thanks to pioneering tech, Spanish contractor Axiona is using paper ash to replace the cement that would normally go into the road's construction to improve durability. Juan Jose, we have the paper ash here. Why is it good for making roads? Well, in road construction, we need the strongest materials, and for that, we usually use cement. This paper ash doesn't just look like cement, it meets all the technical requirements of cement, but it's also more environmentally friendly. I'm guessing it takes a huge amount of paper ash to construct a highway like this. What kind of impact could this have on your carbon footprint? The potential impact of the project is enormous. We've calculated that we can save 65 to 75 percent of the associated CO2 emissions, and by scaling up, we could save up to 18,000 tons of cement per year. The benefit is not only carbon reduction. By using paper ash, that's burnt waste paper and pulp that can no longer be recycled, the company is turning rubbish that would most likely end up in landfill into a resource. Juan Jose, this is one of three pilot projects. What's the plan going forward? Well, our intention is to scale up and extend its use nationally and eventually replicate it internationally. Axiona is a member of the Paper Chain project. It aims to harness the waste generated by Europe's paper and pulp industry. Currently, the sector, the world's second biggest, has an annual production of 130 million tonnes. 11 million tonnes of that ends up as unrecycled waste. The Paper Chain Initiative is part of Europe's wider industrial strategy to ensure a more circular approach to natural resources. Johan, we've just seen paper ash being used to replace cement in roads. Are we witnessing a new era where more and more waste from the paper and pulp industry will be used like this? New technologies makes it possible to reuse and recycle more. One good example is the paper chain project, but we see these kind of developments for everything. Textiles, we make packaging, even non-materials and even fish food from the treatment water of pulp mills. So the best is not to think of it as waste, but as resource. Improving circularity across the entire supply chain won't be easy. How do we get there? What's the roadmap? To get to a zero waste circular economy, we need to work together. Along the whole value chain, the EU's 2050 targets are very ambitious indeed. In the forest-based value chain, we have looked at how to get to a zero waste circular society and we will work hard to make this agenda a reality, but support from the European Union is crucial. That's it for this Business Planet. For more on how Europe is supporting industry to improve sustainability, head to our webpage. Thanks for watching and see you soon.